right, well, here I am again, getting ready to test a uh, mini half-wood press. This is a special one. This is number 80, and it's special because it's black lacquered. Once in a while, I like to work with lacquer. Very seldom, but once in a while. And number 80 is a lacquer press. I'm also, I'm having some guests in today, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. Uh, but before they arrive, I thought I would go over the parts of this press. Of course, the press comes with a box this box, and it comes with a little book that describes its uh, unique qualities. And the box, which also is a little different than my other boxes because it matches the press. It's black lacquer. The box comes with a certificate of authenticity. It comes with the DVD, the DVD that you're watching, a set of new blankets. It comes with a an Allen wrench, that the Allen wrench is for tightening the wheel in the event that it ever became loose, which is unlikely. It comes uh, with a new copper test plate, a 22 gauge copper test plate, and this card, and when I'm finished etching, I will mount the uh, test plate onto this card in this fashion. And finally, a user's manual. To get started, the first thing I do is to load the blankets into the press. I'll be using some older blankets. To start out, I tighten the pressure all the way down to the bed, tighten the top roller all the way down to the bed, and then I back it off to give clearance to the, to the felt that I'll be putting it in. It takes about 12 half turns to get me enough clearance. That should be enough. And then I put the blankets in, the felts in, Sizing catcher goes down first. Enough clearance, a little more clearance would be nice. And then with the blankets all the way to the end of the uh, bed, I tighten it back down. And I keep these the uh, number of turns even because it's really important that the rollers be perfectly parallel with each other. I do it mostly by feel. But I began adding roller rulers to the sides so that people can use these little numbers and make sure that the roller ruler is lined up the same with the block on both sides of the press. Because there are roller rulers on both sides of the press. First thing I'm going to do, I, I plug, this is a little hot plate that I made. Mm -hmm. and the inks I use are oil-based, so they respond to heat, they soften. This is a French ink made uh, by Charbonnel, and the color is called Sanguine, as blood. This is uh, Cerulean Blue. I'm going to mix the two of them. I've used this combination before, and I like it. I'll just roughly equal parts of the two colors. There are plenty of colors to choose from in the art catalogs. We have a big company here in Seattle called Daniel Smith, which makes ink, mm -hmm. and I sometimes use those. Today I decided to use the Charbonnel. When it comes from the tube, it's pretty stiff and hard to wipe. Mm -hmm. So. Ooh, that's kind of a yucky color. I think I'll put some more. That's well, surprising. Sand. I thought it would be more purple toned. Yeah. Well, this will be okay. It'll be an earth color, like an umber. Mm -hmm. To make it softer, I will not only be warming it, I will also add a drop of this oil called burnt plate oil. The plate is textured and it uh, traps the ink in the texture. As you can see. I'm going to warm this, as I said, it'll, it'll make it a little easier. We start with a fabric, Genon. We start with a fabric, wipe all over the plate. You can see right away that the texture is holding on to the ink. Then I like to switch to a paper page out of a phone book. 
And finally, what's called the hand wipe. Dry the hand. Add a little talcum powder so it's really super dry. And then, very lightly, wipe over the plate this way. Is there any ink residue at all after you get done with those steps? You have control over that. Okay. You can leave a faint tone so that it might be kind of moody, mm -hmm. hazy looking. Or you can wipe it as clean as you can and it'll be sparkling and very contrasty. And many people are hand coloring the prints after they do the uh, inking mm -hmm. and wiping. They let it dry and they go mm -hmm. after it with watercolor. Mm -hmm. So it's not. So they want just a minimal amount of ink transfer. Yeah, and they might just have lines. In fact, just you know, outlines like, um, uh -huh. like setting up a coloring book page. I see. Okay, now over here I have paper soaking. Been in this tray for about an hour. That makes it soft because it's going to go through the press. And I'm going to uh, emboss the paper into the plate. So it has to be soft. I've already set the pressure by tightening these two top screws down. Mm -hmm. And as I said, I get better results if I warm the plate. So I'm going to give it a little warm over. Papers are kind of like watercolor paper, mm -hmm. but it's uh, they call it printmaking paper, but they're really interchangeable. Mm -hmm. Are they textured? Slightly textured, yeah. There, there's there are hundreds of kinds. I see. Yeah, some are very textured, some aren't. Some of them had leaves in them. Now, for the sake of the video, I'm going to go twice. I'm also going to tighten it slightly because I detected that it wasn't really as tight as it should have been. We'll get a really great impression if we go through twice. And another thing I do, which is a little unorthodox, even in the printmaking world, is that instead of putting an addition number on it, I put what's called a moment number, which is today's date, uh, 1101.27, and I even put the time on, which by the 24-hour clock is 20, 20, uh, 2017. So I, I think the moment it was made is more interesting than just mm -hmm. how many were made. Hmm. Oh my gosh, look how much ink transferred. Yes, I left quite a lot of tone on that. What is... What is... Turn that gray. I can save these oil-based inks for a few days and put them in some wax paper. And I'll send these along with the test plate in case the owner wants to play around with the with the same inks. Well, that does it for the test for number 80. The Black Lacquered Press going to Pottsville, Pennsylvania. And I'm Bill Ritchie. Thanks for watching.